Hey, they're turning clear, it looks like. Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing what radiation does to glass. And we're going to be seeing if we can actually reverse the process. So I have here two antique bottles. These bottles are actually over a hundred years old. I'm not sure what they were used for. This one says on it, for the teeth and breath made in USA. Van Buskirk. And this one doesn't say anything on it. But you'll notice something interesting. One of these bottles is clear and one of these is purple. Now a hundred years ago, these both used to be clear. So why would it turn purple? Well, if you're into collecting antique bottles, you'll notice that a lot of antique bottles turn purple like this. And the reason has to do with how they used to make glass. Now, as you know, the main ingredient used to make glass is sand. And sand can have up to 0.1% iron oxide in it. Now, most of the iron oxide in sand is ferrous iron, Fe2+. And this has kind of a bluish color. So the problem glass makers had when making glass is the glass would kind of have a bright blue color to it. So what they used to do is add manganese dioxide to it and it would reduce that Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus. But after they react, the manganese 2 plus is clear and the Fe3 plus is yellowish green, basically the color of normal glass. So ever since Roman times and onward, glass contained around 0.5% manganese. But here's the cool thing about manganese. If you hit manganese with UV light or X-rays or even gamma rays, you can cause the manganese to lose an electron and be oxidized back to manganese dioxide, and so it turns purple again. So what this all means is that over time, old glass will turn purple if it's exposed to sunlight. And so you can see the difference in these two glasses here. So old glass will turn purple when you shine sunlight on it for a lot of years, but there's actually a much quicker way to turn old glass purple. And that is by just shining any radiation on it. So this particular glass here was made purple just by shining radiation from cobalt 60 on it. Cobalt 60 gives off gamma rays. And this is the same type of radiation they use to irradiate food. So basically they shine this radiation on all sorts of different food to kill any bacteria or pathogens on it. And then they feed it to us. Now technically it's not making anything that the gamma rays hit radioactive. So this jar in and of itself is not radioactive, but the gamma rays did hit it and cause it to turn purple. But here's the experiment I wanna see. I've read that you can actually reverse the solarization process by heating the glass to its glass transition temperature. So basically heating it up to around 500 degrees Celsius should turn it back clear again. So I wanna see if that's actually possible. Okay, let's see if this actually turns back clear again. So I've read that you can do this, but I'm not sure if it'll actually work. Okay, so this will probably break as soon as I put the heat on it because this is not temperature resistant glass. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> thought that might happen. Okay, so now let's heat up these pieces and see if they turn clear. Hey, they're turning clear, it looks like. That's cool. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, look at that, they're totally turning clear again. So this is what this bottle used to look like. Look at that, totally clear now. <laughs> 
See the color difference? Okay, so what happened here is we heated it up to the glass transition temperature. So basically we gave the atoms in the glass enough energy so that the manganese dioxide could now diffuse and find the iron oxide again. So it's pretty neat. You can reverse this solarization process just by heating the glass up. Now I broke the glass because I heated it too fast, but if you heat it slowly, you could technically convert this whole bottle back to a clear bottle just by heating it up slowly to its glass transition temperature. Hey, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video is out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.